Well, of course, I highlighted yesterday English taxpayers subsidising the Scots. The Scottish public spending deficit doubled to 36 billion quid. It doesn't look good for Scotland because you've now got seemingly an SNP Green Party alliance with the likes of the BBC reporting that indeed the SNP and the Scottish Greens have agreed a new power sharing partnership that would give the Scottish Government a majority to pass legislation including a new referendum bill. Now it's thought that a couple of Green MSPs are likely to be appointed as junior ministers and of course that deal would mean that the Greens uh, go into government for the first time anywhere in the UK. Now reportedly this is going to be a cooperation agreement rather than a full coalition but of course the SNP, the Scottish Greens, both in favour of another referendum and of so-called Scottish independence though of course they're all massive Europhiles keen to sign up to the EU. Of course you've seen a backlash to the prospect of this deal. The Greens being described as extremist uh, joining SNP government a threat to Scotland's Covid recovery with Douglas Ross the Scottish Tory leader tweeting out that Scotland will suffer from this nationalist coalition of chaos. The SNP Green government will be anti-jobs, anti-business, anti-families, anti-drivers, anti-oil and gas and also saying that Nicola Sturgeon failed to win a majority so she needs a hand to ramp up the division and push for Indy Ref 2. Uh, as David Campbell Bannerman puts it, in case you think it is not possible for the SNP government to get worse. Let me know what you make of this deal guys, of this new power sharing partnership between the SNP and Greens in Scotland. And as ever, I'll keep bringing you all the very latest so make sure you hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss my next video. And of course as ever guys, thanks so much for watching.